So as usual, whenever I have a question like this, where there's powers of trig functions and it's written with this notation, I think it's always a good idea to rewrite the function with brackets and the powers outside of those brackets and then do the derivative after. So let's see how this would go. We'd have cosine of sine x cubed and then the power of 4 outside there, right? That's really what this is an abbreviation for. And now that we've done that, I think the derivative will come pretty easily. So at the outermost level is a power of 4. The 4 comes out front. And I'm just recopying everything inside the brackets. And now I come to the derivative of the next part. I'll just do it on the next step, prime. So that's chain rule. Notice we've knocked away the cosine here. Um, sorry, we've knocked away the power of 4. The f power of 4 is the outermost function. We still have to do the derivative of the cosine here. So this stays still. And the derivative of cosine is minus sine. And then the stuff inside there just stays still for now. All right, coming along. And uh, please don't think that, uh, or yeah, we'll just, uh, let's just recopy this. I'm gonna put this three back here. What I was about to say back there is, don't think you can do three times three here to get nine, okay? Uh, that is tempting a little bit, but this power of 3 really goes on the sine there, right? And that sine cubed is inside the cos. That power of 3, maybe I'll even put it here. I think it's always nice to get rid of unnecessary brackets. So that's a little trick there that this power, there's really, a, there's really another set of brackets here. And that's why you can't do 3 times 3 there. So anyways, we have that. And this minus, I'm going to bring it out here. And so we have sine of, and I'm going to put that cube there. It looks better, I think. And let's finish this derivative here. So it'd be the 3 is going to come to the front times sine x squared. I'm just going to go fast and put it there times the derivative of sine x, which is cos x. And that's about all we could do. I guess we could do the 3 times 4 is negative 12 doesn't really matter we do that or not. I'm going to put all this sine squared cos in front. And then we have our weird stuff here. Cos cubed of sine cubed times sine of sine cubed. So that's a little bit tricky, but uh, I hope it went okay for you. Hope you understand that.